Talking about the shadow. In the shadow, love is hard for the chosen one. The funky, funky shadow. On your feet, you still gotta live life on the street. Oh, mama's in babushkas looking for some fish. Oh, papa in pears eating a knish. They're trying to get you in their minion, even though you don't share their opinion. Why can't they see that times have changed? Things are different for a mensch my age. Believe this, mommy, cause I got mad click out with the old. What's your name? I'm Salad Package Director of When We Eat. My wife Nina, who wrote it with me. It's available everywhere. When do we eat? That's what everybody wants to know. And it asks what happens when one of the kids was sad and goes to that kid. And why did you choose the, the largest matzo ball in the world event here at Cantor's as your release event? Because it's funny, like the movie. Did I know you were here? You were going to be here? No! How much free matzo ball soup did you give away? The project to see if we can make the world's biggest matzo ball. We didn't do anything special, we just took our regular ingredients and made a giant matzo ball out of it. And we did a couple different experiments and some of them fell apart, some of them were raw in the middle. So we had to, you know, fuss around with it a little bit until we got it right. It took about two weeks to get it right. The matzo ball soup is a very comforting item. Uh, when people get out of the bars at 2 o'clock in the morning, they come here at 2.30 in the morning, they're not ready to go home. So just look around, there's much more soups more than ever. How much do you sell, do you think, on a daily basis? How many much more soups? Uh, maybe about 300. Is that the lifeblood of Cantor's much more soup? Much more soup, well, corned beef sandwiches, things. There's about 10 items here that, are, that nobody else knows how to do. So and what does Cantor's mean to your family and to the rest of LA? And to Jewish culture There's 140 people who are working here, and a lot of them have been here most of their lives. So we have waitresses that have been here for the year. How'd your grandpa start Cantor's? My grandfather and some of his brothers started in New Jersey City, and then they moved here in 1931 in Boyle Heights, and it was called Cantor Brothers. In 1948, my grandfather moved to Fairfax uh, with his daughter and uh, wife and, his, and, and her, the, the four of them together, my grandmother, and they started Cantor's down the street from here, where Schwartz Bakery is now. And in 1953, they bought the Esquire Theater, where we are now here. And this has been my family ever since. And now you have Cantor's in Las Vegas, which I've been to. In Cantor's in Las Vegas, we license the name to Treasure Island, and they run it with our recipes. And we check on them to make sure things are... Uh, and who, who, um, who, who, who uh, decided to put in that crazy design, the uh, high fashion design there? Uh, Moser. Jordan Moser was the... Was the uh, designer of that restaurant. Is that um is that a is it doing well that that yes, Cantor's over yes, there? Yes, it's doing pretty good. It's uh, got a lot of good write-ups in Vegas, the best deli in Vegas. In Vegas, you know, you don't they don't really know too much about deli, so it, it was an easy win. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Faster than a cow running are, are you going to take over for your father? My sister, sister me, and my brother, my kids, we're just going to keep it going for population. years. May I present... Super...
Saturday He eats some kosher foods Rolling home for me chips Stop to beat the fish He created what they ate And yoga pills 